Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Wild Arms XF. Last time, Katrina got the full power of the Guardians and became the most powerful princess medium ever. What's going on now? Uh oh. Xeno gears? Look at your weakness and despair, Felius. Never forget how it feels to be abased by true power. What? Why are you? After you rigged the generator and helped to engineer my escape? Why? I just... I just wanted it to be like before. Yulia, kill Crescent now! I can't! Yulia! I can't do that! Not to him! <laughs> What's so damn funny, Crescent? She can't even kill me! I told you! She... Shut your mouth, Crescent. You have no right to talk about her. Generator output falling due to severe damage. Significant difficulty anticipated in reaching Illsvale Drive Point. Get up, Yulia. I don't want this! I want everything to be the way it used to be! Even when things went wrong, we were always still friends. Why can't it be like that again? Yulia! Uh. We can't return to that past. <laughs> we have to abandon the Lombardia. We'll use the escape pods. All right. If you use the escape pods now, you'll just get caught in the dimensional turbulence. I think you might be overestimating your odds of survival, Aphelius. I will protect Yulia. Ah! Aphelius! Even when you've staked your life upon it, you can't protect anyone. And the sadder truth is, Yulia doesn't even want your protection. I don't care. I still vow to protect her. Escape pod launched. Where are we? Uh oh. First things first, we gotta figure out what's going on here. Does anybody know what happened? My head's dizzy and I'm sore all over. We were swallowed up by that bright light and then I don't know what. Uh, what about, what about Katrina? What happened to Katrina? The Rite of Divine Coalescence. What do we do now? I don't know what to do. Somebody, please, tell me what to do now. I have to do something. Your Highness, I... Clarissa! <laughs> yeah, she's screaming about her clothes. <laughs> yeah, I was worried sick. Sorry. Alexia? What happened to you? I, well, you know, the mud and... Wait, what? I'm the only one who landed in it? Ha! <laughs> look at you, you look ridiculous! It's not my fault, I didn't do anything, I just came to and I was sitting in mud! Oh, laughing so hard, I'm crying! Your Highness, but just a minute ago you were... Quiet, Levin, don't bring that up. Wow, I, I can still laugh, and if I can laugh, I guess I can keep on going. Right, we'll be just fine. Thank you, Clarissa. Because of you, I know that I can still laugh. Now. I can answer everyone's downcast faces with a smile. I couldn't have done that without you. Uh, you're welcome, I guess? So, why do you still look so glum? You brought a smile to all of us. I wish I could share your enthusiasm, but plus this mud, it really stinks. I feel like I'm going to be sick. Is mud supposed to smell? Really? Let me get a whiff of that. No! Ooh, Levin, what kind of weird fetish do you have? 
Well, at least we know everyone's safe, but there sure are a lot of things that we don't know. Like, what happened? I think we've been here before. Yeah, this is where we came up with the name Chevrolet Blanc. Yeah, you're right. I remember this place. We kind of blasted halfway across Elysius at Wild West or what? West Wind Guidepost. But we were just fighting at the Guardian Temple. You're certainly right about that. Could the shockwave from that blast have knocked us all the way here? If that's what happened, then I guess we should all be grateful we landed in one piece. But that power, was that the power of the Guardians? I've never actually seen it used myself, but it's the simplest explanation for the power of the magnitude. So the Rite of Divine Coalescence was a success? I was told a princess who completes the Rite and becomes a princess medium gains the ability to hear the will of the Guardians and channel their power. So the manifestation of that power confirms that the ritual was a success. Perhaps not. There is a big difference between intentionally using power and being unable to keep power in check. So, if the Rust ritual failed to create an empathic bond between Katrina and the Guardians, that could have just been a discharge of pent-up Guardian power? I can't imagine that Princess Katrina would intentionally do anything to harm us, which would seem to suggest that that's exactly what happened. Katrina. Let's go. There's no point standing around here. If we don't get moving, nothing's going to happen. Princess Alexia. Right, Clarissa? Absolutely. Okay, and then all these different places open up for us. Sweet! Yeah, just hit the O button and it'll make it go so much faster. And looks like we have to head on into uh, Palyasha, so let's go ahead and go. I thought the Martial Guard raised most of this town. It must have taken tremendous effort from the people of Palyasha to rebuild it so quickly. It's so nice to see it one piece again. Clarissa, doesn't being back in Palyasha remind you of anything? Remind me of anything? That's right. Well, I remember the horrible things the Martial Guard did the first time that we came here. Was there something else? Oh, do you mean when they asked us to wipe out the jelly blobs? What? Why are you looking at me that way? Clarissa, don't you want to change your clothes? Yeah, this is where she got that first clothes change. After all, this is where I secured a brand new outfit for you once upon a time. Isn't that one of your strongest memories of Palyasha? What? No, no, not at all. I'd totally forgotten about that. And look, it just so happens that your clothes are stained with mud, not to mention the stench. Well, yeah, the smell is getting to me, and I admit I wouldn't really object to getting some new clothes, but I'm not sure I like the way that you're looking at me. There's nothing to worry about. Come, come, allow me to assist. I knew it. What is it with you anyway? Oh, come on now, Clarissa, you needn't be so. Yes, I do. Now quit it already. We've got much more important things to worry about. Huh, well, if you're going to be such an ingrate about it. This obsession with changing my clothes is starting to freak me out. Is Labyrinthia a lesbian? Huh. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, do some synthesizing before I head on into Bandit's Forest. Got that taken care of. Let's head inside the Bandit's Forest. See what's going on over there. <laughs> What the? There are bandits this way, too? Did you just call us bandits? She thinks we look like lowly bandits. I gotta tell you, that stings a little. We may not look it, but we're noblemen soldiers. Of course, with times being what they are, we've gotten pretty good at banditry, too. Then I was right all along. I'm just researching the ruins here. I don't have anything that would be of interest to bandits. The ruins? Research? So in other words, you're looting treasure from inside the ruins! What'd you find, huh? What'd you find? Look at you, running around with some priceless treasure all by yourself, like a squid with an ear of corn in its mouth! I think the expression is squirrel with an acorn? Hey! Squid with an ear of corn works too! Right, whatever. Either way, you got something good, right? So hand over what you got. Don't lump me in with you, bandits. My research has nothing to do with treasure. Looks like that damsel has run into a bit of trouble. Clearly, we must intervene. You sure look happy about it. You planning to chat her up after we save her? Those men. Have we met them somewhere before? They're those bandits we trounced a while back. The ones who called me long in the tooth. Wow, you sure have a good memory. As though I would ever forget. Who the hell are you? You planning to start something? Hmm? It looks like they've forgotten us. What would you like to do? Of course, I've already made up my mind. 
This time, let's give them the beating they deserve. I don't want them troubling anyone else. Sounds like a plan to me. A pair of highwaymen robbing people dry without a second thought. Chevrolet Blanc will not stand for this. Chevrolet Blanc? Fans of the Founding Knights, huh? Well, you can say what you want. Last I checked, actions still speak louder than words. Come on, partner. You got it. Yikes! Oh, well, that sucks. He who masters the battlefield masters the battle. This is my home turf, and I'm gonna show you how much I'm in control around here. See that? Wasn't that just the best? Man, he can do anything! But, you know, wouldn't it be better to say our home turf instead of my home turf? I mean, I'm here too, you know. But you never actually do anything. Well, this is a really small battlefield, actually, considering we've had all these large ones lately. So we're starting over here. And they're over there. Yeah, they shut out quite a good portion of the battlefield, so you can't actually uh, go into the battlefield. So you can dispel the shutout, um, but yeah, dispelling every single one would be extremely taxing, but it's kind of easy to do. So you could also warp through the shutout, you could uh, throw things through the shutout, you could cast magic over the shutout. We're going to do all sorts of stuff over this shutout. I'm all started up, let's get on rolling. You know, they talked about how um, those bandits looked familiar, but what they really should have talked about was how that woman looked really familiar. I don't know how they uh, didn't see that right there. But anyway, I went ahead and I put Levin in as an Edigmancer so that he has the Dispel ability. So we can go ahead and just Dispel all the shutout hexes with his widespread, and it is the easiest way to do this. Speaking of easy ways to do this, uh, you know what? Let's let's not do that quite yet. Let's go ahead and just get a big blast on these guys, because I don't want to kill him, but shortly we'll see just the true power uh, of Levin right here. Let's get him over here as well. And let's see. Oh, you're not rushed. Well, then you know what? If you're not rushed, just chill. Just hang out right there. You're fine. The reason why I wanted to hang out there was because I am going to Mystic a Lucky Card and all these people right here. Um, I have plenty of Lucky Cards left because of searching, but eh, it's nice to just Mystic them. And if Levin doesn't get hit with the, with the Lucky Card, it's not a big deal. Levin is like four levels ahead of everybody else anyway, because he basically is just like a death machine. He's just ridiculous. He's able to uh, move really far, really fast. He gets turns all the time. And uh, then even after moving, he can still use his... Uh... Ooh, yeah, he totally needs to be healed. He can still use his blast just to kill everything in sight. And we're going to see more absolute destruction by Levin coming on really shortly. Pretty much the goal of this game, or the goal of this... Well, it really is this game, is keep Levin alive and have him kill. But the goal of this battle right now is keep Levin alive. Because he's going to start slaughtering things right now. We're going to put him right here. Right in the middle of everything. And we'll just go ahead and have him... Oh, he can't devastate quite yet. So, just kill yourself. But soon enough, viewers, yeah. He'll ready? be able here I come. to just devastate the hell out of them. And it's going to be marvelous. Um, I can heavy. Can I do anything? A drop kick? Can I hit anybody? Um, hmm. Can I switch turns? You know what? Let's just do this. I'll switch turns with him. If you want to stand in my way that badly. him. Oh, he can't go all the way up there? I was going to say we could just do like a whole turn shift thing. Oh, sweet! We can! Awesome! Yeah. And uh, now we can devastate again. And, ooh, get all of it. Well, no, there's still one guy down there that we didn't get. Now, he is not the Enigmancer job class. If he was the Enigmancer job class, he would have IFF. And IFF allows him to uh, use that, but without harming uh, your allies. Once I start running, I stop for nothing. So that's why I kind of put him back here, so that he would only hurt the enemies. Yeah, look at this. It's amazing. 
Uh, now this guy down here is the only one who's not getting targeted. What's he weak against? Uh, oh, Freeze looks promising. Ooh, yeah, so that one. Okay, so he's weak to Crush. Can I get... That would harm Levin as well. Oh, that sucks. No, okay, so I have to do it individual. So, there you go. But yeah, this battle is very quick, very easy, very simple. There's really nothing to it. Uh, it's Dispel, and then, you know, Slaughter. Dispel and Slaughter is pretty much the name of the game here. Um, I know that Labyrinthia wanted you to, like, move these blocks around and stuff, but why? Like, why bother? Let's throw you not that far, right there next to Levin, so that with his next uh, thing he could... Oh! Or we could just kill you. That works, too. Uh, what do I want you to do? You probably go ahead and start attacking him. 66? Sure. Whatever. And we've got Felius down there. We'll have him yeah. attack him as well. There we go. Yeah, this is nice. Yeah, I don't know what... Like, who made Labyrinthia's tactical advice? Because her advice sucks! And it has pretty much sucked for the entire game. Uh, let's see, it's just you guys and you're so close together. 152, can I kill you? 146, no, I can get close though, so we'll go ahead and attack you. That hurts. There we go. That's the goal. And let's see, do a crush on him. That should kill him. Awesome. And now we just have this one last guy left to do. Let's do a uh, 58 damage. No, that's not too hot. We can throw him somewhere. Let's, uh, I don't know, throw him over there. Sure, at least he's far away now from other people. There we go. Let's show them how we fight around here. Uh, oh, you know what? I can just throw him somewhere else now. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw him all over the battlefield. I really like the grappler uh, job class. It's really fun. How do you miss? You threw him across the battlefield. There is no missing with that. Can I just kill you? Thank you. There we go. Yeah, I didn't even bother learning the weaknesses of these guys because of my test run. Levin got like four turns in a row with his accelerate, and he just devastated the crap out of all of them. <laughs> we can't lose when it comes to fleeing. Footwork is our strong suit. <laughs> oh, man. And she was the perfect target, too. Well, guess we'll just have to make it up on the next one. And stay gone. You seemed a lot more passionate about this fight than usual, Teach. Hey, thanks. You really saved me from those jerks. <gasps> it can't be. What's wrong? Why are you staring at me like that? Is there something on my face? No. It, it's not that. Um... Are you all right? Right as rain, thanks to you guys. Really, I'm very grateful. I suppose I have only myself to blame. Granted, Elysius is pretty peaceful these days, but I should have known I'd run into monsters and bandits if I strayed too far from town. Did you come here alone? Investigating ruins is lonely work unless you want to hire a drifter to help you out. If you're treasure hunting, then people are eager to come along, but this is just for scholarly research. You're... investigating ruins? That's right. I left my daughter with a friend in the city and came here to finish up my research alone. Excuse me, but could you tell us your name? Phileas! Oh, sorry about that. You saved my life and I haven't even introduced myself. My name is Melissa. Melissa Arwen. It's a pleasure. <gasps> uh, I... I'm Clarissa. Really? That's the same name as my daughter. She has the same color eyes and hair as you, too. I'd really like to thank you properly, but I don't have anything on hand. I'm staying in a town called Hanagar. If it's not too much trouble, could you meet me there? I can't offer much, but I really want to thank you properly. Oh, you don't owe us anything. No, I insist. It would mean a lot to me. Well, I'm heading back to town now. Don't forget to come get your reward, all right? What kind of crappy mother is that? She doesn't even recognize her own daughter? What's wrong? You two are acting strange. Did you know that woman from somewhere? Yes. That woman, Melissa. That's my mother. What? She died five years ago from a wound inflicted by Rupert. But that was her, I'm sure of it. But that would mean... Wait, where are we? We're in an era in which Melissa is still alive. 
We must have gone back to Filgaya's past. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah. So, why do we time travel? What's going on here? Well, we're not going to find out next time, but tune in anyway. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And happy watching!